Freshness is what this is all about. Fruit, vegetables, meats of all sorts. Today we're at Reading Terminal Market in the city of brotherly love, Philadelphia, and this is a farmer's market that dates to the 1800s. Hi, I'm Paul Ryan, and welcome to America's Heartland, and we'll take a tour of this two-acre indoor market where the country meets the city, where you'll find everything from souvenirs to specialty Philly food items, and yes, we'll be doing some tasting later on. We're back now at Reading Terminal Market, and this shop is called Pennsylvania General Store, and it's been owned and operated by vendor Michael Hollihan, Very and, good. You, and, and you've been here 21 years. That's right. Well, and, and what is your your store is all about everything Pennsylvania. That's, right. That's exactly right. We sell foods and crafts that are made in Pennsylvania. Everything is made in Pennsylvania. Even me. <laughs> the Reading Terminal Market's been here since 1892. It actually is a successor to another market that was nearby and when the Reading Company wanted to build their big train station in Center City, Philadelphia in the late 1800s, they moved the market here and built the train station right over us. Now you have 80 vendors, but back then there were almost 800 vendors. It's this, amazing. This store would have been chopped up into 10 spaces or that's more. Exactly, that's exactly right. We had 10 times the amount of merchants that we had today because when the market opened, the people who were selling here were selling just what they were able to grow or butcher themselves. Everything is brought here and sold here. What, what are some of the items? Well, in the, in the great market, in the market that we're in, of course, everything under the sun is available. We're in the summertime now, so it's all this great produce that's coming in from South Jersey and Lancaster County. Um, we have all sorts of oddball Pennsylvania specialties. You have Philadelphia pretzels, soft pretzels, hard pretzels. You have all the great Philadelphia sandwiches, cheese steaks, roast pork sandwiches. Um, and of course, here we sell lots and lots of chocolate-covered pretzels. Pennsylvania makes and eats more pretzels than any other state, and we love our pretzels so much, we dip them in chocolate every now and then. Okay, Michael, great. Thank, thank you so much for Very your nice time. And, you. and, and we'll be back here to uh, talk more about the uh, Reading, not the, Reading Terminal Market uh, in just it. a moment. Thanks a lot. Like a local. Yeah, thank you. Okay. When it comes to an agricultural attraction, it's hard to top this, Philadelphia's Reading Terminal Market. It draws more than 100,000 customers every week. And those customers say this is not just another trip to the grocery store, it's a destination, something you actually look forward to. We are taking you on a tour of Philly's Reading Terminal Market, where the focus is food, family, Here they are, Hannah and Rebecca, and friends. I just bumped into a customer who told me she misses me. Well, we all so I, it makes me feel good. I sometimes come in the market just to bump into people who miss me. <laughs> my mother shops here, I shop here, my daughter shops here, and my grandchildren are really? with me when I shop. They I know that. With me today. I see them when they come. What do you want, half gallon? Yes. All right, it'll be right. See you, honey. Philly born and bred Jimmy and Vinny Iovine have been the faces and forces behind Iovine's produce for more than 20 years. I come here every day and everybody knows me and they love to say hello and I love to see them. And You like and to interact I, with the people. And I think that's what makes it special. You know, everybody knows everybody and you see people hugging, oh, where you been? And it's like, a, it's like this, it's the hub of the city, honestly. A hub filled with history. The market's always sort of been um, influenced by whatever the main transportation of the day is and now today's the, it's a combination of people coming back into the cities and wanting to live close near where all the theaters and shops and restaurants are so we're back to people walking to the market and then of course you have to have plenty of parking for the people that still like to drive in but in the days when trains ruled the country we used to get our raw ingredients in on the train and we used to send our products out to our customers on the trains. that's exactly right We've been serving the best food in the Philadelphia area for well over 100 years now. Thank you. Have a good day. And do you have any more shoe fly pie? Yeah, right here. Yo, love to see one. For Ann Byler, the market is a living history as well. So you're kind of sharing, you know, our culture with other people down here. Yeah, the Mennonite yeah. traditions and yeah. cultures with the people down here. Sharing our food with them, yeah. There's a lot of different cultures in this market. Cultures complete with the flavors of Philly. Bassett's Ice Cream. You guys have been here since since this place opened in 1892. Yeah. You haven't been here that long, though, have you? Nah, no. <laughs> a little after. <laughs> Let me, can I, can I just sample maybe one of your, it looks interesting, Gadzooks. 
From the oldest ice cream company in the market to the freshest produce around, complete with helpful hints. Stir them up because they said they pop like that, they're yeah. fresh. Okay. Well, these are fresh. Oh, they're delicious. Mm. Oh, wonderful. Mm. And so are these, pretzels, long a Philly favorite. And you have lots of varieties to choose from. Let me have one of your pretzels. Do you want butter on it? Sure, sure. We'll do the whole thing here. All right. And this is a Philadelphia tradition, right? Mm -hmm. now, what do you call these, just soft pretzels? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> There's one more popular food item before we go, and this one you have to try. It's the famous Philly cheesesteak. Sliced beef, onions, a few other things, and gobs of melted cheese on a bun. And this baby can be a real heart stopper. And that's our show for today. We thank you for watching. I'm Paul Ryan, and we want to see you next time, I hope, right here in America's Heartland.